Well, coronavirus cases are on the rise across the U.S. At least 20 states are reporting increases. ABC's Inez de la shows us how many of those cases are in states that were among the first to ease restrictions. This morning, Texas, Arizona, and Florida seeing a record number of new coronavirus cases. It's a different population that is making that curve rise, and it's a younger population. But those people have to realize that they have the propensity to spread it to those that are more vulnerable. All three states were among the first to reopen. Florida's governor arguing the spike is linked to increased testing. We really expanded the drive through and the walk up sites. And now we have pop up sites at retail locations. And, and that's thousands and thousands and thousands of tests a day. But in New York, once the worst hit state in the country, testing has also increased. But their number of infections is way down. We went from the worst infection rate to the best infection rate. But it's all because of what New Yorkers did. At least 20 states and Puerto Rico showing increases. Hospitalizations are also up in at least 14 states. Alabama and Arizona running out of ICU beds. But Vice President Pence downplaying the issue, writing in the Wall Street Journal, we are winning the fight against the invisible enemy, adding panic over a second wave is overblown. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who repeatedly <clears throat> warned about the president risks of reopening too quickly, revealing he hasn't spoken to the president in two weeks. We don't necessarily have to have a second wave as long as we have the capability when those inevitable infections come up to be able to handle them in an effective way. Later this week, President Trump will hold his first campaign rally since the pandemic began in Tulsa, Oklahoma, even as that city sees its largest spike in cases. Thousands are expected indoors and in close proximity. Inez Deliquitera, ABC News, Washington.